Well, hi everybody. Well, you shot the comet uh, with your telescope and recorded all the images, but what do you do now? How do you stack the comet? Well, obviously many people use Deep Sky Stacker and I have a video on how to stack a comet in Deep Sky Stacker, but there's another way in PixInsight. There is a new module in PixInsight, well, at least it's been updated uh, for comet stacking. So let's take a look at that and see how I did it anyway, and to see if you can get any pointers from this video. I hope so. All right, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is open Pix in sight, and then I'm going to go into a, a subroutine called Blink, and I just take a look at the raw images. These are the FIT files from the telescope and the camera uh, from the night before. And over here, I'm going to open up uh, the files with this folder right here, Add Image, and the file that I'm going to be using is over here uh, in the um, January 24th Telescope 2 file and I called it comma, Comet Fit. And there they are, the fit files. And let's just load these in. And it loads all these into Blink so you can take a look at them. And they're going to be in black and white. They're not color yet. There we go. There's the comet. Now, I, obviously, I missed frame this um, example here, but it's for uh, example purposes only, so it's okay. But there's the comet, and we can look at each file individually. Uh, by you can see how the comet is going up toward the top of the frame there, uh, and then but you can see there it is. You can see the motion. All right, those are the files I want to use. Okay, so uh, I have that file saved. We'll close out that. So the first thing I got to do is, well, we got to register these files and get their full color and everything. What is it? We go into scripts, uh, batch processing, weighted batch processing, or pre-processing right there. And this is how you stack in PixInsight. So we want to stack these images first. And so we're going to load in our, our, our light frames, our flats, our darks, and our dark flats. Um, the dark flats don't show up in PixInsight. I wish they would put that in there, but uh, uh, you have to load the dark flats into your darks as well. So now I have my light frames, my dark frames, and my dark flat frames. But the all important flat frames, you got to make the flats. Uh, there's no way out of it. And I got my, my flats over here uh, in the flat wizard. Flats right there. And click on one. Again, I had a calibration all set up from that from the Deep Sky Stacker, but I want to use this for um, PixInsight. So, so there we have all the uh, the frames and so forth. And from here on out, I think we can just let everything go with the default. Let's pick an output directory. Let's make a new one just for this. Let's go back up into uh, this one here. And let's go Comet Fit. Let's put it in this directory here. And let's make a new directory. And let's call it uh, Pixum Site Calibrated. Select fill file folder. All right, everything else should be ready to go. Let's 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 see. Let's go with hit and run. I'm going to get an error message here. You know, no bias frames. We know that. Continue. All right. So now it's going to take all these files, and it's going to uh, register the files and uh, get ready for what, well, what it thinks is stacking. But we're going to put a step in between the stacking of these files before we get there. And that's going to be with Comet stacking. So let's let this do its thing and I'll come right back. Okay, the sequence has finished and done. So we can close out this right here. And let's go into, we can close this out as well. Let's go back to Blink. Let's um, look at the new files. Let's destroy all these, not destroy, but just pull them out of Blink. Open up the new file. Let's go into the um, where we go? Comet Fit. And then PixInsight Calibrate it. And here you want to go into the, uh, the, the Bayer background. Okay, that one right there. And there are the images there. Let's load. Let's load those in. And this should be in color now. There it is. Now to get out this green um, 
background here. I'll just click on the little chain over here and that'll knock it out right there. There's the comet. You can definitely see it comet. There, there's a galaxy right there. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's play it. And there you can see how it was moving. The stars are solid. They're not moving at all. So everything is calibrated and, and stacked perfectly over here. But if you, if you want, you can make a movie just like that. That looks pretty good. You can save those files into a movie file uh, right down over in here and save the, I like to save them as a ping file and then put them into my movie editor. However, let's do one other step. Let's stack the comet. So to do that, exit out of that, we can, we can close um, blank. And let's go to, where is it? Processes, all processes, where is it? Alignment, right there. Open that up. And we want to add the files. And the files we want to add are the ones we just calibrated. We want to go to the debayered and these files here and load these in. Control A, open. All right, this looks a little bit similar to the um, uh, image integration but it's a little bit different because right now the first thing you want to do is click on the first image right here and that's going to come up and it's going to come up uh, on stretch so you want to go ahead and stretch it there it is right there now what you want to do is put your mouse over the center of the comet and left mouse button click it like so and a green circle will come around the uh, large portion of the cone and then a smaller circle would be right there in the middle of the cone you can barely see it see it right there all right do that go ahead and close that uh, image out open the last image right over here double click it again stretch it please wait all right again do the same thing zoom in a little bit and uh, let's come up a little bit just to be precise there you can see the center right there and I'm going to left mouse button click and there it is okay I'm going to close that now if I look open the other files they'll be centered watch well I've got to double click it see there's the comet core right there I can stretch it just to uh, show you see and if I if I do these to all the files it'll be done for example this middle file here see, it's right on the center okay so now we have the comet ready to stack so let's do that and um, we want to make an output file and let's make it um, and let's call it comet centered click on that and select okay now I don't think there's anything else you have to play with over here and you just have to hit uh, the circle and let her rip it's, it, it's a little bit faster than the um, image calibration, which took over 20 minutes. You know, PixInsight does a great job, but it is slow when it comes to stacking. But it, it, it does a good job when it does stack. I mean, Deep Sky Stacker will stack it much faster, but you get a better stack with the uh, PixInsight. All right, we're done. All right, let's just minimize this for now. Let's go back to Blink. Let's clear out these files and let's load in the new set of images we just made. Under the calibration, so we have one called Comet Centered. There it is right there. There they are. Let's open all of these and loading in the data. All right, let's uh, click on the chain over here to knock out the green uh, background. Now let's animate. And watch what happens. The comet should not move. The stars should move. <laughs> let's hope. Let's see what happens. See? The comet is not moving at all. The comet is perfectly centered. Okay. So now we have something to work with there. Okay, hit stop. Okay, I'm going to minimize blink. I'm going to pull out of this. So the next thing we want to do is to take away the stars. Let's go into batch processing for all the files. So 
we can do that, we want to take out the stars. I'm going to use Star Exterminator. I tried StarNet earlier, and StarNet just didn't do the job. I got a picture of it right here. Uh, this is StarNet. Took it out. It tried to take out the stars, but it didn't. Uh, there's some still there. But when you look at Star Exterminator, well, there you can see it took out just about all the stars. There was some noise at the lower right-hand corner of the picture there, but it, it did a much better job. That, that versus that. That's StarNet. This is Star Exterminator here. So let's use Star Ex Exterminator and open that up. So Star Ex Exterminator, where are you? Right here. Now in Star Exterminator, we got a process batch located over here. Now let's generate a star image too. So we'll have the star images to go along with that. And then let's process batch. Okay. Output Starless Files 2. Let's make a folder. Let's put them over here. Let's put a new folder over here. Let's call it new folder. Let's call this uh, Starless. And let's make another one comment only. New, new directory, new folder. I come from the old school. I used to call them directories. Okay, got the comment only and the stars. That should be stars. But anyway, we'll, we'll fix that later. All right. So the next thing you want to do is get ready to take a break when you hit select input file and, and execution. Um, I got to collect the input files and the files I want to use are going to be over here. Comet fit, calibrate it, comet centered, click on all these. Open. There they are. Are you ready to proceed? Yes. Okay. All right. This is going to take a while because it's going to be a star exterminator and it's going to eliminate the stars in each and every individual image. It's going to take some time. All right. After several hours, it finally finished uh, taking out the stars with a star exterminator. The, the point is, if you're going to do a lot of files with a comet, don't make them too many because it'll take forever. But let's take a look. Uh, let's go back into Blink. Uh, comet only, right there. And let's load in these. I think I had 10 files here. Uh, 10 to 13. 13 files. It takes a lot of time to process uh, it, with Star Exterminator. So just be wary of that. Don't use too many files unless you have a lot of time to spare. Anyway, hopefully this is going to be a good looking picture. There it is right there. And uh, I can minimize this. Let's take off the point there. And there is the, the whole comet right there uh, in one picture there. And let's see if they move. Look at that. The comet stays put. It looks good. Okay, now, the next thing we want to do, what do we want to do with this? Well, we also have a, a picture of the, um, of the stars. We uh, moved on out. All right, I just did a um, star exterminator on the middle image. Uh, and this is the, uh, the star field right here. We're going to be using that. Uh, so let's um, uh, make sure that it's all, it, it, it is already um, set to go. Next thing we want to do is to keep this image here. Let's just call it um, the star mask. Now, I can just minimize that. I'm going to close out this picture here. So now we have the comet. You can see the ionization. Well, you can see the past trail. The comet's moving in this direction. There's the ionization trail. Now remember, this is just a sample. It, in, in reality, the comet should be right here if I was awake while I was doing this. But uh, again, this is for sampling purposes only. Again, okay, now the next thing I want to do is add those stars back in. So the star mask is right here. And I want to add those in. Uh, it's going to leave it just as it is just for now. You can, you can doctor these up if you wish. But um, 
I'm going to re just rename this right now. Identifier, just going to call it Comet. Okay, now I'm going to go into pixel math. Don't be afraid of pixel math. It's not that confusing. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right, go. It's just simple. Just type in Comet plus, what was the other one I called? Star Mask. Okay, so Star Mask and Comet 1. All right, just add those two together and hit the button. There you go. There's your final image right there. Not bad. Now there's that galaxy right there. Now, if I was really doctoring this up, I would have gone into Photoshop and, 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 and gone in here and uh, doctored out these blemishes with the, um, the patching tool uh, in Photoshop. But, uh, you know, for the, you know, this, that's not bad. Not bad at all. When you look at it, see, the, the head of the comet is round. So that's good. And the stars, you know, you got this one star field, but the comet itself is good. Of course, it'll look much better when the comet is in the center of the page. Uh, uh, in my defense, I wanted to get this galaxy in the picture, too. So uh, anyway, that's that's how you do it in, uh, in um, Pixon site interesting takes a little while to get all those stars out so again if you're going to use a lot of images it's going to take a lot of time uh, star exterminator um, star net will take the stars out but you get a lot more blemishes with the uh, star net so there you have it well I hope you got something of value out of this video uh, I've been it, learning more and more about how to process in pics and site it takes a lot longer but it seems like the images are a little bit cleaner well you certainly got this new module at least an improved module in pics and site called common alignment and that does seem to help somewhat uh, particularly if you're making movies uh, it's it's ideal if you're making movies now if you're trying to get a a, a view of the comet and, and removing the stars that's going to take a little bit more effort as you just saw uh, but hopefully you can find a faster and easier way. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. I'm always trying to learn more and more each day. But the comet is just about uh, closest to the Earth right now. So, you know, get your telescopes ready and cameras and start to shooting away. And hopefully you can align the comet and, and make a movie of the motion of the comet with the stars stationary, the comet moving, or the reverse, the comet uh, stationary and the stars moving uh, behind the comet itself. So anyway you know the comments there so I hope you got some value out of this video I know you know making it I've learned some more and new tricks so the question is is it enough and did I do it right so I think that's a good question that's always a good question did I do it right anyway if you have any comments please put them down in the comment sections below uh, I like to uh, read those comments and reply to all those comments and yeah, I learned from those comments as well so and if you have the opportunity, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, go ahead. Buy me a coffee. I, I love my coffee. So you know, I just look up at the sky, you know, with a comet up in the uh, sky right now. Uh, one of those majestic wonders. But remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders. You have nebula, nebulae, you have comets, you have galaxies and planets, everything out there. Double star clusters, uh, the whole works. All out there, all in a sky near you. So unless you need rain, and it looks like we're getting some right now here in my location, unless you need rain, clear skies everyone.